Hello, welcome to another video. Here is my napkin journal in front of me to do another page. I love my napkin journal as you know and from what I can tell you, lo you love it too. Uh, it's a way of creating an art journal in a very short time, very satisfying, perfect for beginners uh, because it's much easier uh, since you have an image uh, or background in your hands already and the colors are uh, defined by this uh, napkin. Uh, so you can learn a lot uh, about color coordination and uh, composition in a very easy way uh, and before you know it it's finished and you have a beautiful piece of art that you created in front of you so while i was doing that uh, long introduction uh, i this is the napkin i'm going to use today uh, i get my napkins from napkin shop and i'm going to drop the link down below to that shop um, they have beautiful napkins, rice papers, uh, a very large collection and they ship internationally. Uh, so I have this beautiful Buddha uh, napkin with uh, really nice soft colors. I use this Buddha as a focal point in, uh, in my project today. I glued it onto a simple uh, printer uh, copy paper. Uh, and uh, I'm going to uh, glue it right in the middle of my journal. Um, I'm using matte medium uh, to do all the glue, uh, all the sticking uh, purposes and I'm covering my Buddha as well uh, just to make the surface non-porous and I have all these leaves that I cut out before uh, I think these were Mintai papers uh, full of uh, florals uh, it's called floral 6x6 uh, six six, uh, pack uh, from before just in my stash uh, but don't worry if you don't have it I'm sure you have some leaves if not you can draw it if not uh, you will have stamps that you can stamp and color there are many ways to create uh, this kind of uh, image uh, it's a very generic uh, figure anyway um, and uh, I'm just uh, sticking a few of them uh, with similar colors uh, uh, on the opposite corners of my image. This way the eye will uh, be drawn into the uh, Buddha um, and uh, it looks very nice uh, with all these leaves. Um, I wanted to give a bonus video this week because I haven't posted for two weeks uh, and uh, I just wanted to I just felt inspired to do another edit and uh, uh, put another video out there. It's been some time I haven't uh, posted a napkin journal video um, and uh, These are the borders of the same napkin and I'm going to cover the four corners of my page uh, with these uh, nice borders um, So again the eye will go into the center where my focal point is uh, also, I wanted to put out there nice messages while we are going through a hard time uh, in the world. Um, this will be a peace page uh, and uh, I, I want nothing more than peace for uh, all the people out there having difficulties, have to leave their homes unfortunately um, and I'm sure we are all praying for some calm and peace uh, for all humanity out there uh, so when you watch this video maybe uh, you can also stop for a second a minute or two just wish for some peace uh, send positive thoughts uh, and prayers out there uh, I'm sure it helps uh, any little positive energy wishes prayers uh, will help so that was also my aim today uh, I cannot control many things but uh, I can only contribute uh, putting out their positive thoughts uh, sentiments uh, praying for uh, much better days well while I was talking um, I finished uh, gluing the corners and I'm going to blend it into the rest of the page using a uh, white paint or gesso both you can use I'm using my fingers just uh, blending it uh, out into the uh, white space it's very easy thing to do with my fingers I have much more control uh, so that's uh, how I'm going to do it and uh, when I'm finished with this uh, today I'm going to use my uh, gelatos or, or gel crayons 
um, to give some color to the page as well. Um, one is gelato, this one, and uh, the other is gel crayon, a cheap one uh, in Amazon or other stationary uh, places. There are kids gel crayons, uh, they also work well, maybe not as pigmented as gelatos, but uh, there is a big price difference, so you can also look for those uh, type of cheap versions. They have nice colors, uh, loads of colors in a pack. Um, and uh, you will see, look, uh, it's, it works just fine. Uh, there is not much difference. Yes, uh, gelatos are definitely more pigmented, but as I said, there is a big price difference. And if you have the resources, very nice. Um, but uh, I'm not using these every day. Uh, so, uh, a cheap versions uh, work perfectly fine as well. Using a couple of colors that goes with the colors on my page. That's the beauty of napkin journals. I already have the colors in front of me. So what I need to do is just to match them. Um, and I wanted to bring a little bit brightness with the color I'm using now. Kind of aqua blue turquoise um, uh, color. And um, you can also use your acrylics, by the way. You don't need to have these gel crayons. Uh, you can uh, use uh, acrylic paints with your fingers, with a brush, to blend it in. I use a lot of acrylic paints with my uh, napkin journals. Uh, and I uh, blend the colors with those very often. I have a playlist called Napkin Journals on my channel. If you're interested, there are loads of videos that I've been doing for years now. Um, so you can have a look uh, there as well. Also, I have some real-time uh, art journal uh, classes that I have uh, recorded some time ago. And they are in my Etsy shop. I'm going to drop the links down below in the description area for those two if you are interested. Sorry if you are do uh, hearing some noises at the back. I don't think so, but <laughs> I'm doing the... Uh, laundry so the machine is a little bit loud but um, I hope it's not going through the microphone um, so I'm pulling the color a little bit into the center but I'm going to leave the uh, very center white uh, to give a uh, space to my Buddha to shine uh, with the same gel crayon I watered it down a little bit on my table and I'm doing some very subtle splashes uh, and I will do some white highlights uh, on the images uh, around my Buddha, on the leaves, uh, to give them some nice uh, highlights with my white gel pen. Finally, I can go with the sentiment. As I said, this is a peace page, so uh, the sentiment is peace, um, simply. Uh, I th This is a sticker, uh, sticker set that I had for... Uh, years in my stash so I'm selecting the uh, the one that goes with the colors and I am just uh, sticking on my page a uh, piece uh, around my Buddha I really love it it's very serene and uh, calming to me and I had a lot of fun creating it uh, I hope you enjoyed it too don't forget to leave a comment down below uh, like or subscribe to my channel if you like my videos Thank you so much for watching and see you next time.